It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Well, yo, like, I got this big ass book. Holy shit, that is a yeah. fucking Alright, so on. Jet's Jet's got the fucking it. omnibus. This is just volume two of the oh, omnibus. Shit. Yeah, this That's is fucking like sweet. Also, well, shit, Jet, your hair is long. Oh yeah, he's got the he's got the long hair. He also hung up when he turned off the video. I wonder how long it's gonna take for him to realize it. Uh <laughs> I have read up to and including issue fifty nine. Okay, so we're kind of in the same spot. Dude, Alan the Alien. Love him. Yeah, Ooh, Alan dude. the Alien. Alan the Alien was the guy from the, uh, like, he was the one that came in and tested What's-His-Face, right? Alan the Alien is the one voiced by Seth Rogen. He showed up and he showed up and he was like, I'm here for your, your annual <laughs> test. <laughs> yeah, that was him. And he's uh, <laughs> fucking hilarious. And in the comic books, he's even funnier. Does he hit show up more often in the comic books, or is it just like oh, yeah. that one? Oh. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't think I like Seth Rogen all that much as an actor. Really? He's like the project. same character in everything. Right. Depending on the project, I'll I'll, I'll give you that, Brandon. Uh, yeah. Like I don't know. Like the more I'm thinking, like I, I was thinking about it. Mark, 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 Mark. What? I think you just gave us a good challenge. I start, start start naming Seth Rogen roles, and Mark, you tell us whether or not you like them. Okay. Green Hornet. Remake porno. I love it. Green no, Hornet. wait. Green Hornet, haven't seen it. Uh, Zach and Mary make a porno. I like the movie, but I can't say that it's because of Seth Rogen. I, I, he, I mean, that's fair. It's because it's of Justin Long. Long. Well, there's, oh my god, it's one of his best roles. <laughs> it's actually because of Bubbles. Showing up with a 104 degree fever. Just... <laughs> In the fucking thick of it, doesn't even know what the fuck he's saying, but he's rolling with it. That might be, Is yeah. It because of the literal porn star in the movie, Katie Morgan. It's because of it's because no, I just really enjoyed the film. It felt it was like a feel good movie, and also there was a lot of titties. <laughs> there were a lot of titties, man. There were so many titties. Were there? I feel Her like name. they were just Katie Morgan's. There was bubble. there was two pairs of, of titties that showed up on screen. There were Bu two is a lot. Four boobs is a lot to you. Look, man, it's been a dry a year. What porns are you watching? I haven't watched porn in several Zach months. Zach and Mary make a porno. Zach and Mary made one, but it's not actually a porno. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty close, man. No. I also like that their original idea that they pitched was an actual parody porn. Yeah. I just love that Elizabeth Banks was just like, fuck yeah, let's do it. All right, knocked up. Uh, never saw it. Really? Never saw it. Uh, you know who's... Solid. You know who uh, I think is the best uh, actor in Knocked Up? Jason Segel. Mm. I've only really... My his only, character's fucking hilarious. My only real experience with Jason Siegel was in the five or the what was it the four year the four year engagement or five year engagement, and then uh, How I Met Your Mother. So, I didn't really like the five year engagement. Did you never I watch it, Freaks and Geeks? I watched like two episodes of it, man. Did you yeah. not watch um, what Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Oh, no, I forgot flag. to. You need to watch that one. It's funny as shit. It's one of the funniest movies I think I've ever seen. Just like look, and I you guys still asked laugh me at it just as much as I did literally the first time I watched it. Look, you guys asked me a question, I fucking answered it. What do you uh, want? From me? Why is this turning into a trial? You a question, and now we're also following watch up. Undeclared. Watch what? Undeclared. It was a TV show. I ran one season, but it, um, Seth Rogen and you know, he's um, the fucking king of great TV shows that got canceled. Right. Anything, had Charlie Hunnam in it, who I love. anything that's obscure, but that was actually really good, but nobody ever knew about it. Jeff has the DVD for it. <laughs> yeah. You want to borrow? News Radio? Got it. Joe uh, Rogan is giving that fucking, News Radio on DVD. Fucking love News Radio. It's so good. That's. I think that's the big reason still why I enjoy Joe Rogan is because I loved him in News Radio, and I don't know if he's done better. 
I loved Seth. I, I loved Joe Rogan in uh, Fear Factor. Yes. Uh, well, one of my favorite things he is... was the reason why you tuned in. I mean. Oh yeah. There was evidently I don't an know. episode where like this one person was gonna like they were doing Celebrity Fear Factor. This one person was gonna chicken out, and Rogan was like, "Listen, if you lay in the cockroaches for however amount of time, I will eat one of them." And they're like, "Okay." And then, like, they didn't make it the full amount of time. And New Rogan's like, all right, guess I got to eat it. And, like, one of the other celebrities is like, did you know they didn't do it the full time? You don't got to do this. And Rogan's like, shut up, man. I'm going to do this. It's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just a... It's just, Joe Rogan just made being bro into, like, An like art something form? that people would pay for. I'm going to tell you something right now, Joe Rogan, that you might not know. I smoke rocks thing is like when he's not giving really terrible advice to people i actually think he's usually fun but like god like some of his views are just like eh, i'm not uh not really gonna go ahead and agree with that buddy oh my fucking god these fuckers with their fucking splatoon fucking guns man i am however incredibly excited for the comedy club he's opening up me too it looks oh my god cool. wait he's oh, making a comedy what? club yeah. yeah, dude, he in bought Austin? a place in West, on West 6. Oh! And he yeah, turned you, it basically the, uh, into It like... used to be the One World Theater. Yeah. You know, if I ever buy a comedy club, I'm going to call it the Comedy Club. Yeah. No one at all is surprised by that. Even people who have never met you are not surprised by that, Mark. They're going to take one look at me and be like, oh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Mark's but, just going uh... to walk around with a mesh crop top. <laughs> like what's his face's character in Fifty First Dates? Yes, Sean Astin. <laughs> Sean Astin is fucking perfect. He is, a he is so great in everything he's in. I love Reed. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. Yes. Long goes he Dan Cummins live. I have told you yes. I don't know how many more times I have to tell you yes. I will see. Not since I texted Dan you. Cummins with you. Okay, twenty-five bucks. <laughs> Five bucks. No, no, twenty-five dollars. <laughs> That's how much it so, costs to go see him, you dipshit. No, no, no. It's a running gag on his podcast that we both listen to. Oh. But uh, it's only twenty-five bucks in uh, Dallas and San Antonio. Okay, we gotta try. So, which one are we going to? Which one? Do, that's the. That's what I was waiting to ask you. Which one do you want to do? Um, if we stay in Dallas, I have a place that we can stay. Did your oh, dad okay, buy you cool. another house? No, oh, a townhome. God, my such a jealous bitch. And my cousin Chad both live in Dallas. And Tommy lives in Dallas. I've got three why do you, to stay at. Why are you so mad at me for asking a question, Brandon? Because you're being a bitch. Yeah. Wow. Well, he is what he eats. I eat See, that's the one I do all the time, guys. Wait a minute. So, <laughs> um, Brandon, which one do you want to do? Uh, let's do Dallas. Okay. Should I get HR a ticket? Um, I will ask her, but I will say she's very particular about the comedy that you Dan, see. Dan's comedy is pretty aggressive, too. So Yeah, probably not for her. Um, last question. Whoever we're staying with, should I get them a ticket? Probably. When do you need an answer? Hang on. Also, when Party. are the dates? Sooner is obviously better. I'm looking up right now when the dates are. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys. I'm on the final boss. Okay. Um, well, let us know when you lose. Well, I mean, we can watch. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do this. <laughs> I love how Mark's just like, oh, okay. I mean, I guess, guys. Well, the thing is, is after this, like, the only thing that's left is his like treasure trove which i need to go get the rest of the gems for so like we're we're pretty close done we're pretty we're, yeah uh dallas august 21st that's... oh you know what dallas was the best one because that one's on a saturday perfect that's one we're doing <laughs> all right yeah houston is a little bit costs a little bit more and uh it's on oh, a shit. friday which is not as good I just remembered what this fucking boss fight is like, and it is the fucking worst. 
I mean, you know, you're not the best at video games, so I didn't think it was going to be the best. Well, I mean, you guys didn't think I was going to get very far in this game at all. I remember that conversation. You never said that. I did. Many times. Well, I can't help that. That's true. <laughs> Jeff has seen. Jeff and I have played and failed many a game, so he has very little. Faith no, no, in no, my no, 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 no. Jeff has watched Mark play and fail many games. That's what I said. Well, Jeff, Jeff has taken the reins and played many games and failed. Mark is one of the most infuriating people to watch play video games. Dude, True both, dad. Both Mario and Zelda just constantly jumping. Jet Jaguar, you saw it last time. Mario, when he just kept jumping in the same fucking hole. Yeah. It's the most frustrating thing on earth. Yeah, so Brandon, let, obviously just let me know whenever you can, and I'll just uh, get the tickets. Sure. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. Speaking of comedians, I started listening to uh, Anthony Jeselnik more think? often. Eh, he's okay. He tells jokes, and I prefer when they tell stories. Oh, the other person that I've been—I was going to say I, if you like I, like, I like a good, um, I like a good mix. I don't like sticking yes, to one style. Um. Anthony Jeselnik was funnier when he was trying to be the next Daniel Tosh. Yeah, uh, very true. Well, I was going to say, if you guys... He had something he was striving towards because... <laughs> or at least trying to strive towards. Comedians who just tell straight jokes, my favorite is Mark Norman. Mm. He's pretty fun. I, a lot of the comedians I found, I found through... Um, this is not happening. Used to be on uh, Comedy Central. I don't know if it still is. But that one is just all stories. Like, it's comedians telling stories uh, about, like, real things that happen in their lives. I always find that more entertaining. So, I found so that if one you like... Just... If yeah. you like that kind of uh, comedian, have you ever listened to Theo Vaughn? Uh, yeah, Theo's just not my style. I mean, he's very funny. It's just, I don't know. I can't really relate to a lot of the stories he tells. Oh. I, th I find him... A I've, I've very much relate to a lot of his stories, especially the one where he's talking about having a, a teenager accidentally come on his arm while he's at the movie theater. Because that's what? that's actually happened to me. Actually, were you the teenager? Oh. No, I was the I was nine. You haven't okay. So so Brandon, by by hey, your Mark, reaction, you remember how you had stories? I think we just found one. <laughs> no, um, yeah, actually. So when I was in middle school, I had a I had a friend. We'll say his name was Derek, because I don't I don't want to give his real name out. Um, so Derek, so real name's Derek, got it. No, his, his real name's not Derek. Um, but anyway, so Derek, what, every time I'm like, I'll just call them this. That's always their name. Yeah, we know that. We know that. <laughs> um, so Derek was very, Derek, Derek was an early bloomer. So he was sexually active at like 12. And I remember we went, we went to the movies. I think we were watching one of the Transformers movies and, um, he was getting a blowjob from his girlfriend right next to me and she decided at the left shitty friend what um yes but Sounds also like shitty friend. but also mark you didn't think huh maybe i should move over a seat or two or uh, it was it was it was packed like it was a packed theater like i didn't have All right so he's a shitty friend and disgusting right so he's getting and he's isn't getting he a minor at the time well so was she so it wasn't a big deal everybody it's not like story going to jail. Yeah, Everyone. but it's in a, it's in a fucking public place. Oh, just oh, I, I'm sorry. I forgot to, I forgot to clarify. Movie, just for being in that movie theater while that's happening, I think that puts you on a list. Sorry, I forgot to, I forgot to mention. He had covered her up with a jacket, so nobody knew what was happening. Oh, well, at least he's a fucking gentleman. Well, anyway. So, uh... I'm really hoping it was like the jacket of the guy on the other side of him. <laughs> yeah, it was our other, it was our other, our other Fred Brad. He just grabbed his jacket. Um, anyway, so, you know, he's getting, he's getting his jollies wait, 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 wait. off. No, no, no. Actually, this is important. So at least it, you're saying it, it at least was like a row of you and your friends. It wasn't like, a yeah, it wasn't. Off his other side. It wasn't just a bunch of randoms sitting next to us while he's getting a bloge from his girlfriend. Right. So what ends up happening is, like, right at the last second. You know, did he yell? Uh, did he yell? Autobots roll out right before he came. No, uh, apparently his his GF at the no, time. He, uh, he yelled, "I have the power." 
wrong you series. Saw he Man too. Yeah, the one with Dolph Lundgren. Um, but anyway, so at the last second, uh, she decided that she didn't want to have to taste it, so she pulls out, and fucking she pulls out. right. It's absolutely her choice. But she pointed she it. Disengaged. She pointed it at me. Wow! Oh my god! All right, let's weigh Wait, the options. Hold on, let's weigh the options of where it was going to go if she didn't do that. A, His coat. You have Mark. But t t twelve year olds don't think like that. No, no. Okay. So, right. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I want to clarify. Let me clarify. We weren't twelve at the time. We were like fourteen. Like we weren't. Like she had, no, he had been, better. not much better. No, you're right. But he wasn't like a twelve year old that just like jizzed all over oh. his best friend. No, instead he's a fourteen year old. <laughs> he's a fourteen. Anyway, so her options were, you know, point his dick down at the floor, shoot off on the floor. The floor's sticky Which, anyway. Yeah. Nobody would have, nobody would have noticed. Probably, she probably wouldn't. Well, she probably would have broke his dick. No, which would have been funny. <laughs> Okay, I can just so, yeah. imagine, like, someone just trying to enjoy the movie, then they hear, Oh, damn! Why'd you do that to me? Oh! I mean, it's better than someone trying to enjoy the movie and then getting hit in the face with blue. <laughs> I just imagine Mark going, Did you just come up? Mark, I love and how I... your stories are possible felonies. Probably. So anyway, um, yeah, so, so she didn't have a whole lot of options. I'll give her that. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt on that. I still disagree. But, but the fact that she here here's the thing is is she was like on his left side, I was on his right. Like she didn't pull, like even attempt to not point it at me. Like, like it was almost as though she was a sniper Did waiting to kill the... her dog or something. Jesus Christ, why would she I don't know why, why she hated me. Literally do this to she pro... Look, she probably was like, "Well, I can't aim it down at the floor because uh, like I don't know." I'm trying to run through her thought process. She's she's like aiming it like a goddamn spotlight, essentially. So it's literally, it's going to go on Mark, or it's going to go on this grandma who took her grandkids to go see this movie. And so, which is bad. <laughs> she just gets home. Was it snowing out today? So you guys remember the story about how I orange sleeve the guy? pooped in my hair on our way out. Yeah. Yeah. So you orange sleeved a guy and a friend. A, a friend white you. white sleeved me. Cause it was a lot. What, you, what was your response? I need um, to know. I got up and left. Did I you just. Ever, did you, you go on a murder spree? Still? Did I what for Enda? Are you friends with this person still? I haven't talked to him in like Sorry, probably ten since years. then. Did they get married? What about you guys? No. What about Do no. they have babies? Come on, no. Did you... they, did, they did not, not get married. Not ones that ended up on your sleeve, I mean? <laughs> no, but I killed the I, I did it. I beat the game. I've still got some treasure. Um, but no, I didn't I didn't they didn't get married. Uh he came on my arm. I was like gross. I got up, I left, I went to the bathroom, I washed my arm off. I don't think I went back and finished the movie. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Your arm, or you said he white sleeved you. Were you, was it your bare skin? Yeah. Oh, that's just a, that's just that's just a friendship over. That's just it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's literally that's how we, you make that's what, call, that's what we call an elephant sneeze. <laughs> I mean, look, he he tried his darndest. I don't to, I don't to, uh, to make I, it I, up to me. Well, hang on. Did he take his own penis and point it, I don't know, anywhere other than his friend? No, he didn't touch his penis. She was. Like, I, I okay. get where you're... Like, I'm not disagreeing with you. Like, it's fucked up that... Oh, no, no. Fucked up left the room quite a while ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so while while telling this story of me getting cummed on, I, uh, I beat the, the game... Came with... on. At least get the syntax correct. Jesus. Children no, he comes on me. We want this to be educational. He comed on me. He came on you. Yeah, so, uh, that was the time. Hey, if cum is spelled C-U-M, is came spelled C-A-M? It's C-A-U-M. Oh, okay. Calm? Calm. Calm? Calm. I don't like this conversation. 
I calmed so hard. Is it because you calmed? I calmed. I calmed all over the floor. <laughs> oh god. And did my uh, best okay. friend's arm. Everyone here has seen that video, by the way, right? Which, Which video? The Arnold Schwarzenegger video, The Feeling of Coming. Oh, right? yeah. No. Okay, so... so. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Brandon, have you seen it? No. He hasn't. Hold oh, up. my God. Um, but Mark, Mark, look it up and play it on your goddamn screen. What? I'm not sharing my screen, you fuck. Uh, okay, hang on. I'll do it then. My God. Anyway, so uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is it's from no. the uh, no stop. I'm just telling them what it's from. I'm telling our our I'm viewers. Just gonna show them. I'm gonna tell our viewers what it's from. Dumbass. Well, at least wait until these two see it. Hang on. God. Fucking... Hang on. I got it right here. Let me share my screen and then. It's from All the right. film. It's from the film Pumping Iron. I will stab you in the throat. And it's <laughs> as soon as you get here, he finally moves to Austin. <laughs> he gets stabbed in the throat. Now five seconds. I mean, that's for me strange. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym, is the pump. Let's say you drain your biceps, blood is rushing into your muscles, and that's what we call the pump. Your muscles get a really tight feeling, like your skin is going to explode any minute. You know, it's really tight, it's like somebody blowing air into, into your muscle. It just blows up, and it feels different, it, it feels fantastic. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. So can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> so, you know, I'm in heaven. Can we talk about this, like, how excited he is that he's come up with this analogy? <laughs> it's like I'm coming day and night. I'm up it's on the stage. I'm coming day and night. I, do, I get to, I no, get to jet come jet at home or... and put, come behind stage, and then I get to come in front of the thousands of people. So, Jet Jaguar, Schwarzenegger, <laughs> is on camera. He like, looks He is being so interviewed. Bro, 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 bro. I'm watching it right now. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Jet, get caught up. Fuck. Continue.